If you're a coach who struggles with content strategy, then this video is gonna help you out. Now, when I've spoke to coaches in the past, lots of times they will struggle with what to put into their content. Now, I'm not talking about the topics or the problems that they speak to their audience on, but I'm talking about how they're gonna structure that over, a, say, a weekly period. And this gets massively overcomplicated at times. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through a super simple system that I've created that makes sure that over a period of a week, you will cover all of the pieces of content that are gonna be able to help you connect with your audience. Now, this system is, like I say, super simple. It doesn't take much work, but I guarantee that if you think about your content falling into each of these parts, you're gonna tick off the areas that are gonna help you connect with the people you wanna help. I coined it the Ha Ha system, and that just makes it easy for you to remember, and it's not really particularly funny either, but I'm gonna go through the process of what this actually means. So the first part of this is to make sure that when you're creating content, that you create some helpful content. Now, what I mean by this is, the things that your audience need help with. Can you create like how-to videos? Can you create videos with tips for achieving X result? This content is normally the content that coaches don't struggle with. This content is very much information-based and, co and coaches feel like they can do this without really thinking about it. However, that, if that's all of your content and all your content revolves around just providing information and doesn't tick off the rest of this system, then I guarantee you're gonna be falling short in terms of how to connect and build engagement through your audience. So the second part of this is amusement. So if we think about how we're gonna connect with a potential audience, when I talk about amusement, it doesn't mean you suddenly have to turn into some comedian, stand-up comedian, but having some form of humor run through your content will enable you to connect on a, on a different level with your audience. Most people are gonna to come to social media to detach, to switch off, to be entertained. They're not gonna to come to you to just talk to them about, here's five tips to help you get more protein in. Do it in a way that can slightly add an element of humor and I guarantee you're gonna start having much more connection with your audience. The third side of this is content that makes your audience feel heard. Now this content is sometimes the hardest to get coaches to connect with and, and build out, but the easiest way to think about it is think about stories and experiences that have shaped where you are today. Because most of the time, coaches are trying to work with versions of themselves five, 10 years ago. They're trying to help them achieve these things. So think about the experiences you went through and tell them in stories. So the more you can start to tell stories within your content that makes your audience read that story or watch that video and say, oh my God, it's like, it's like you were talking to me. They wanna be able to see themselves in your content. That's the content that makes them feel heard. That's the content that will make them feel seen. And that's what's gonna build connection between you and your audience. And then the final part of this system is the advantages. Now, when I talk about advantages, I mean it in terms of how can you show what it's like working with you? How can you show the systems that you use, the processes that happen? Can you talk about the current clients that you're working with? Having something within your content strategy every single week, even more than that, to be honest, is gonna to help to, to describe to a potential client like how you work. Because I'll be honest, unless we're showing them and we're telling them about it, they're just not gonna understand. They don't understand what online coaching is. Even now, people still don't get it. So you need to be able to tell them, explain to them clearly, this is how I work. And these are the things that we go through and the processes that happen. I guarantee if you can cycle through these pieces of content, helpful, amusement, heard, and advantages, you will start to build connection for your content, for your audiences, for your social media. Because if you just focus in on one and you're heavily just handing out tips and you're just going on and on the information, you're gonna to struggle to, to gain interaction and gain engagement through your channels. So if you can start to build this into it, it's a really, really simple process. And it just takes a little bit of practice to start cycling through. And that's it, that's the ha ha system. So if you found this useful and it's something you wanna try out, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And then we've got over 50 other videos on this channel to help you build a successful, thriving online coaching business.